inspired by Strachey's presentation of checkers in 1952 that rekindled Samuel's interest in devising a checkers program, and indeed it was near the end of that year that Samuel completed an initial version on the IBM 701. Samuel continued to refine this program over the next several years and accomplished a major milestone in 1955 when the program became capable of analyzing its own play and learning from its mistakes. As the program continued to gain notoriety, it was actually demonstrated on national television on February 24, 1956. Later versions of the program achieved good, though not expert, playing skill. Although the IBM 701 machine on which he developed his Samuel Checkers program was among the most powerful computers of its time, its memory was not sufficient to game out every possible outcome of each move. Samuel got around this limitation by introducing what is now called Alpha Beta Pruning, a scoring system that allowed the program to evaluate the likelihood of winning from certain positions without playing them out to the end of the game. Like a human player, Samuel Checkers looked as many moves ahead as it could uh, and made its decisions from there. Samuel Checkers recorded each position it saw and whether that position eventually led to a win or a loss. By incorporating these values into its subsequent decisions, the program got better the more games it played. Now here's a man playing drafts and his opponent, a multi-million dollar computer. This computer has been playing the game for several years now, getting better all the time. Tonight, it's playing against the black side of the board. Its approach to playing drafts is almost human. It remembers the moves that enable it to win and the sort that lead to defeat. The computer indicates the move it wants to make on a panel of flashing lights. It's up to the human opponent to actually move the drafts about the board. This sort of work is producing exciting information on the way in which electronic brains can learn from past experience and improve their performances. The machine is getting so good at the game that it often beats Dr. Samuel, the American scientist who taught it to play in the first place.